<clears throat> Welcome to Dr. Lauv's guides on how to play as the Team Fortress 2 characters. And speaking of, I just... A friend Lloyd sent me a meme this morning and I think it's just perfect. So, anyways, let's get to the, vi let's get to the multiple videos. Huh. When we're starting with the soldier, I'm gonna go through the medic one again just to, like, get a good understanding of medic because... While I don't have a good gaming computer yet, I need like 22 fridging gigabytes, and I only have like 30 on my laptop, um, I do want to be prepared on how to play as these guys, so... Today, we take a look at the soldier. The soldier is a crazy, genistic patriot from America's heartland. Soldier's a maniac. Well armed, he is versatile, capable of both defense and defense, and a great starter class. You get familiar with a great starter class, huh? Soldier is well known for his spectacular rocket jump. Yes, sir, which is hard to do. All good sense and judgment. The soldier can detonate a rocket at his feet and launch himself skyward. Of course, it needs practice. Yep. This ability allows the soldier to appear from unexpected places. Want to see a magic trick? No. What? What the hell? Haha. This is a funny Gmod animation, but at the same time I'm getting some good explanations and what the freak. His large health pool is second only to that of the heavy. Now you want to be the real American dream, also known as the soldier. I am a pretty That's fantastic. What? Now let's take a look at your big guns. What's a bloody horn? Your rocket launcher does great damage, but the damage it does depends on range and love. Aim <laughs> rockets at enemies' feet to ensure they can't avoid the explosion damage. What? Also make sure to reload your rocket launcher all the time. By the way, the rocket jumper does no damage. Uh. While your rockets are feared, experienced pyros are able to reflect them back to you. If you find yeah, pyros can do that. Combat, use your shotgun or your melee weapon, so you won't hurt yourself from firing rockets. <laughs> but hurting yourself is useful for the medic because he will be able to build up his super charge uh. faster. Never stand still, as a soldier. You are nope. no sniper. Now that you know on how to kick your enemies back in time to kick them back into the future, you can finally call yourself a real soldier. God bless America! Yes, sir. And, of course, that again. Oh, have fun. Alright. What the f- Oh my god, I, I I didn't think there would be ads in this. You, sh you should have warned me, Lloyd. I would have cut that out. Uh, the spy, hailing from an indeterminate region of France, as an enthusiast of sharp suits, and even sharper knives. $3,000 suit. Using a unique array of cloaking watches, he can render himself invisible, or even fake his own death. Leaving unaware opponents off guard. Yeah, uh, off guard, when that sound is pretty dang loud. Allowing him to blend in while behind enemy lines, before stabbing his unsuspecting teammates in the back. <laughs> in fact, a swift backstab with any of the spy's knives will kill any foe in a single hit. Yep. Provided they aren't under the effects of any type of invulnerability or immense damage reduction. He <laughs> just continuously the hits the uber-charged heavy who punches. Yeah. The spy is able to enter an enemy teleporter and can use this to make his way to the enemy team and blend in amongst them. Thanks, Mike. Now you want to what? be the professional and attractive spy? I think not. That's a good start. <laughs> But before you can call yourself a real spy, let's take a look at your weapons, abilities, and enemies. We already learned that you can backstab the bad guys with your knife. Yep. Buy yourself some talent. But before you backstab somebody, you should observe and learn about the person you want to kill with a tiny knife. Yep. Because most enemies learn to turn around. Bye! Hi, instead of spy. And if you use your disguise kit, act like the guy you disguised yourself as. But if you disguise yourself as a scout, that's don't stupid. That you won't be as fast as him. Yeah, no, don't never. Oh lord! Never disguise yourself as a scout. That you have a revolver. 
<laughs> yeah, spy is basically the person you can pull the gun meme with. Even your arch nemesis, the In fact, someone did actually make that. Unless it found out that it has an air blast. As the spy, you are also able to call for a medic on the opposite team. Medic! <laughs> now you can finally play the class yes! that everybody hates, what? but also wants to play. Yeah, exactly. Everyone hates spies but wants to play them, and everyone loves medics but don't want to play as them. Today, we take a look at the engineer. The engineer is a soft-spoken, amiable Texan with an interest in all things mechanical. He specializes in constructing and maintaining buildings that provide support to his team rather than... Yeah, except he can only have like one sentry, one teleporter, and one um, <clears throat> dispenser at a time. Then again, all it takes to stop him is a demo man or a soldier. Now you want to be a real Texan? Yeah! Very good, but before you can even call yourself an engineer, make sure that you know your own buildings. Alrighty then! Take care for Why? Your own children. First of all, you have the sentry gun. It never misses its target. So it's yeah, and, uh, yeah, the sentry gun never misses its target, but, um... In the Meet the Team videos, they make the blue engineer look like a joke. Like, the scout is out running the bullets, um... The demo man is dodging too. It it, it just uh, it, it makes the engineer look stupid. The teleporter is a perfect choice. Use it to help your team to reach the front lines faster. I am scared, you maggots. If you have more engineers in your team, never build your buildings too close to each other. Yeah, no. Spread them out for best defense and help your Texan buddies. One demo man is always enough to destroy you all. Now yeah. You know your buildings. Don't forget that you also have weapons for self-defense against the bad guys. There is your shotgun. It does great damage at close range. Hey, overall, if you huh. ever need to defend yourself, uh. Huh? <laughs> I'll you out. Oh, you, you. Gotcha. There is also your pistol, but beware who you shoot with it. Fight like men. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the engineer is going to be the thing I main third because I'm definitely going medic and then pyro and then engineer. Because I. Oh, hey, Saxon Hale. That's right, because the only other weapon you will use is the gunslinger, the ultimate masterpiece in engineering, science, and psychological terror. What is the gunslinger? revealed on what is under the glove. Be the ultimate engineer with this weapon. It will replace your heavy armored super sentry gun with a tiny, tiny version. Now and? that you know your buildings and guns, let's talk about your enemies. Exactly, even the engineer has enemies. It's the whole other team, mostly the spy, who has the sapper. <laughs> yeah, basically there's like three classes that go that counter the engineer. They are always behind you. The demo man can destroy your guns with his sticky bombs, so watch out for something like in Scottish. Now that you know the basics about engineering, you can finally call yourself engineer, and your team will trust you. And only you. Yay. <laughs> and sniper. I hate sniping. Like, snipers are practically the worst kind of class in games. It's so annoying to just get hit out of nowhere. Like, fight me like a man. Stop hiding. Yeah, no, I don't like you. I mean, your character is good, but the... Like, the, the sniper's character, that that's what's good about him. Otherwise... In the unforgiving Australian outback, the yeah, exactly. That's ready crack The sniper's main role on the battlefield is to pick off important enemy targets from afar using his sniper rival and its ability. <laughs> sniper's also good for memes. What he is effective at long range but weakens with proximity. What the? He is forced to use his submachine gun. Oh my God! Yeah, he does have that. As a result, the sniper tends to perch on higher ground or in hard to see places where he can easily pin down enemies at choke points. <laughs> Although he is typically known for instantaneously killing enemies at a distance, the sniper can use the ah! to get close. What is your plan? To run a mile away and then shoot me? 
Sydney Sleeper. <laughs> and the mysterious contents of Gerardi allow him to take on a support role. Yeah, that's disgusting. What is this demonic stuff? What is going on? Now you want to be the sniper. No. That's excellent, but also hard since Team Fortress 2 needs a lot of skills and practice. It will destroy your soul, dreams, and your own family. All hail this sandwich. Let's forget about what I said. Yeah, no. no. As a sniper, it might happen that you fight an enemy sniper. You know, <clears throat> I think the only reason I'll ever resort to Sniper is if I'm just curious to try out the class, or if I'm really just tired of running around and I do want to stand in one area and maybe not get picked off so easily, unless I'm spotted. But yeah, that being said, I, I'm not really into sniping. While you are sniping around, it might happen that a spy will try to backstab you. Yeah? Try to look around next time, or use the razor back. If you happen to spot an engineer nest, but can't see the engineer, shoot the sentry. What is with this building. stuff? What, why? Why? To repair. Oh my god. Good job. You can finally call yourself a real sniper. You can Guess I'm a fake now. sniper. Have fun with your great accomplishment. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Alright. Next one. Okay, I'm actually glad I hit the pause button because there was an ad that I had to get through, so... Yay. And yeah, let's get through this again. I, I need to... Yeah, the medic button. Everyone's gonna be calling for me. That's one of my problems. Like, oh my god, who, would I, who do I focus on? I mean, I know my priority is the heavy, like over the scout. Raised in Stuttgart, Germany during an era when the Hippocratic Oath had been downgraded to an optional Hippocratic suggestion, the medic considers healing a generally unintended side effect of satisfying his own morbid curiosity. Yeah. The medic is yeah, he really is the medicine. devil. While he may have a tenuous adherence to medical ethics, he is nonetheless the primary healing class of the team. Although the medic's syringe gun and bone saw aren't the greatest weapons for direct combat, he can typically still be found near the front lines, healing all the teammates while trying to stay out. Yeah. I haven't said man in forever. So you want to be a Hippocratic German doctor? Yes, sir. No. First of all, you have to know about your primary healing targets. What? Would you heal the heavy? <laughs> Or the scout first. Heavy. That's scout right. sucks. No one likes you scout. The heavy and everybody else first. Nobody likes the scout. I'll take a spy over a scout. In fact, I'll take I'll take a spy over a sniper to heal. Love everybody, and they will love you back. Ye. Yeah, yeah, that that sound that's literally taken from Gravity Falls. I literally, that heavy making that sound, that's from Gravity Falls. How many of you recognize that? The whole enemy team will try everything to kill you. Of course they will. As the medic, don't underestimate your own defense. You can what do you mean? <laughs> if the situation on the battlefield is too much for you and your partner to handle, run back to your base to recover and regroup. A dead medic is a sad medic. <laughs> <laughs> now that you survived, we can finally come to your final step. This is the Kitty 0706 map from Team Fabulous 2. I just remembered that. Really? Oh my god. That, that again? Ugh. You and your healing target are invulnerable for a few seconds. Yeah, a few seconds. Yeah. Like, like if we're trying to cap the intelligence, that'll definitely come in handy. Or like a point. Now you can call yourself a real doctor. You can heal people on the battlegrounds. Have fun with your great accomplishment. 
October fifth. Best October. All right, next one. But yeah, I I just I need to I needed to remember that. And now for demo man, I'm just gonna cut at the end of every one because I don't trust if there's gonna be an ad or not. So today we take a look at. The I claim this point for France. What the? Seriously, what is with that? What is this? Is this is wrong? This is so wrong. It's funny how Demo Man's 10 years of drinking alcohol actually paid off in the comics. Hi. <laughs> Demo Man uses his one good eye and the knowledge of his surrounding environment for well-timed sticky bomb detonations that send enemies skyward. <laughs> he tried throwing the doctor in. Explosive organs, however, they will be shocked to learn that Demo Man is extremely efficient at melee combat, being one of the deadliest melee users in the game. Except the red, the red Demo Man and the Blue Soldier became friends, and then the an administrator made them fight. Why? What? Why? This is not okay. All right, this is not okay. I mean, yes, I'm aware of what happened in my reaction from the other day, but... Jump around and shoot them randomly while you pray to hit the target. Congratulations, you finally hit something. As the drunken Scottish man of explosions, you were able to destroy whole sentry nests with only one well placed sticky bomb. <laughs> you can even jump with your sticky bombs, but it needs practice. You were able to strike even more fear into your enemies. Where is one explosive mark hits another one? Congratulations, Mr. Explosion. You can call yourself a real demo man. You can destroy everything now. You know his name is Tavish Finnegan de Groot. Okay, well, next. You know, I'm sorry if you can't hear me too well. I, I, I mean, I am watching these so I can get a good understanding of the classes anyway, so... I don't have too much to say, so... But if you really are interested in what I'm saying, then sorry, but, uh... Yeah, Pyro is a nightmare. He counters literally everyone. The Demo Man, the... The soldier, the spy, he's a, he's a nightmare. Then again, if someone wants him dead, it's not that hard. He even counters himself because he's immune to fire somewhat. Oh yeah, his goggles. Oh! What am I looking at? I'm aware of Pyro's insanity, mostly because of his goggles, but uh, negating that, I'm really interested in his class. I I'm pretty sure he has a jetpack even from the Jungle Inferno update. Heavily on outbushing and taking alternate routes to catch opponents off guard. The Pyro's compression blast can deflect enemy projectiles, extinguish burning teammates. Oh my god. Wait, he can extinguish burning teammates? That's good, actually. That's very good. Oh my god, stop that. 
other pyros, though it does not add any resistance to the direct damage taken from the flamethrower slash explosion. Now you want to become the most hated thing in the entire game? That's disturbing. We start with activating your fire and running forward. You should never do that. Instead, keep an eye out around you for enemies and try to get them into close range combat. Yeah. You may now what notice the? that your flamethrower is capable of doing more than oh. just burning your victims. It's falling. Activate your fart blast to return the projector back to the owner. Or push enemies <laughs> Wait, can I do that? You're into a sentry nest from your friendly engineer neighbors. Thank yeah, you can air blast people away as well. Love you forever. Not bad. Not bad at all. So engineers and pyros are like teammates, or, or like friends, while the pyro is the counter of the spy. You can burn a whole group of enemies, even if they don't die, the afterburn will do the rest, because Vol has no idea how to balance this class or anything else regarding the pyro. Now that you finally are a mistake of nature and mankind, you can call yourself a pyro, burn everything, be the monster, have fun. Alright. Well, thank you. Okay, we have three left. I know there's like nine classes, but I'm, there's like a Christmas one as well, so I thought I'd do that. Why is the Hoovy Guide shorter than the others? Also, why isn't... What am I looking at? I win. Now we finish. He's nice. Welcome. I live. With a Buddhist bird. Is this like April Fools? Exploring the unknown. Discovering what lies beyond. You made me think this was an ad, didn't you? Because you, it worked, I mean. Was this an April Fool's joke? What am I looking at? Now more than ever, we need a pathfinder. Maybe I'm foolish. What the heck? This is stupid. Yes, it is. Nasty. What the heck, man? What even was that? How did that... You know, I'm not even going to bother cutting that out. In fact, I don't I don't care about cutting anything out. Oh my god. I'll say this much. The vi it, it, I mean, it is kind of teaching me, but at the same time, um, it's very, very weird and disturbing. So... Today, we take a look at the... the scout. Nobody likes the scout. I mean, I think... I I think I only really you like the scout for him Virginia loving this Paul. Really. That's the kind of interesting. Hyperactive piece of reproductive oh. organ failure you that keeps annoying suck. your grandmother on the other side of the road. No. Also known as the scout, is one of the fastest yeah, there we go. in Team Fortress 2. The sixth tiny man from a known fairy tale is a fast-running scrapper with a baseball bat and a snurky in your face what? attitude. Yo. I mean, the scout is literally... You know what a scout is? They're made to, like, check up ahead and then run back and give you the report. So that's kind of... And scout is made fast so that he can run away. So it's kind of, it kind of makes sense. I mean, scout is really only good for capping intelligence or capping the point. It's kind of his point. Oh my god. Entire game? Excellent. We should start by introducing your mobility. Oh. You should be able to jump once but also twice into the air. Use that ability together with your speed to get to far away points much quicker or to dodge enemies. You're not gonna make it. If you totally fail in your jumping games, you have a gigantic gun that is even more powerful than the rocket launcher from the soldier to shoot enemies with. For the first time in my life, I am a freaking wizard! No, you are not. You're not Miraz, but... You should never stand still as a scout. <laughs> How do you miss when he's right there? Your survivability depends on your fast movements and constantly shooting guns. You are a close range combat class, so you have to be very close to the enemy. From the daddy. You are no sniper. As the scout, it would be helpful to know the locations of health packs around the map. 
Yeah, except the scout always just steals health back, so... Now that you know the basics to become a piece of dry potato, you can finally call yourself Scout. You are the perfect killing machine that nobody deserves or wants. Shame on you. Have fun. Yeah, I mean, these are like the very, very basics, I guess. Um, I'll probably watch more explanatory videos regarding this stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw something like the 10 stages of medic main, so... um. I might want to get to that. I don't know if that's for, like, reacting or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see. Besides, I do love learning Team Fortress 2 stuff. Always. Merry Heavy Christmas Guide. I mean, December was last month, but I'm still up for this. I can't... It feels like January has passed by either so slow or so fast. Ugh. Today, we look at something magical. That's right, my adorable tiny biscuit with brain dysfunctioning. Did you know that it is Christmas and everything you did was terrible? I mean, come on, you didn't even try. Don't worry, I'm here to help you with the magic and spirit of Christmas. Imagine doing Christmas for the last minute. That's right. Christmas is in one minute and you have to you know, get everything ready before the You know, if there are Team Fortress 2 plushies, I, I'm so probably gonna panic. get maybe like Let's a Medic plushie or something. Or a Pyro plushie. Or I'll make one myself. Like so let's get started. You don't have enough time left. We remove any disgusting part from the bird. And shove something that smells less disgusting inside. For then God's sake, why do I agree to any of this? I mean, yeah, I'm learning, but still, it's well, weird. I am proud. While your bird is getting ready, we can move on to decorate the room. You know, I, I didn't actually do any decorating on the Christmas tree this year or last year, but I do always help my dad, like, set up and cook meals and stuff. Yeah, I always set up the table in a fancy way, too. Even if no one else does. Like, I'll... Like, forks go on the left, spoons and knives go on the right. He's gonna hit him anyways. Never mind. Those losers don't know how to properly Christmas. Buy a lot of gifts. You have only 10 seconds left. Quickly get home. And prepare yourself for your people. The people arrived to celebrate Christmas with you. I hope <laughs> the, the engineer the just shows up Mary Poppins style. Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Who's that guy? I'm not in, not so nice. Well... That was very fridging weird. I don't know, I got some knowledge on it. Um, oh, man. I'm really up for more Team Fortress 2 reactions, so... Uh, if you guys have suggestions, please, by all means. As long as, long as I haven't seen it, of course. I don't know, but... Uh, see you all in the next video. Diddly doodly doot.